When you have a variety of tricks to choose from, you'll be prepared for anything. I'll give you, give you a quick story. Um, I want you to have variety, okay? I want to have variety of skills in lots of different things. We've said before that I want you to be able to walk into any bar anywhere and be able to do something cool with everything because you never know what kind of opportunities are going to come. Uh, and there's going to be some put up or shut up things. Um, one story, when I first started the company, very first year, uh, got first month actually, had a, had a meeting with somebody in, uh, well, I won't mention the name, but I uh, had a meeting to talk about the training of the staff. Uh, he actually set it up at 1.30 on a Friday night, so last call. Showed up looking nice in a, in a, in a suit. Showed up at the front, said, hi, I'm Scott Young. You're talking about training your staff. Uh, he knew all about me, knew what was about me. He just sort of looked at me like, let's continue this interview at the front bar. That's all he said. All right. I walked through the club, crazy busy, packed club, walks to a very long bar, a right, very long bar. There was three bartenders there uh, and probably I think one or two porters, and they were all big guys. The smallest guy there was about 6'2", 220. I'm not 6'2", 220. These guys looked very upset. Uh, it was kind of uh, in the days of a lot of steroids. Anyway, really big, big, strong guys looked very stern. Last call, very busy. The manager stood there and said, let's see what you got. And that's all he said to me. So this is kind of a harsh put up or shut up story. At that point, I figured, well, how badly do I want this? So I went, well, took off my jacket. Here, hold this. Didn't have very good feelings for him at the time. I figured, all right, here's a challenge. So I walked back there, and we talked earlier about how we don't like walking, people walking behind the bar without, uh, without knowing. They didn't know who I was, right? So I had this very weird, weird reaction. I just figured I'd act like I knew what I was doing or I should be there. Maybe I'd have a, a few seconds to be able to do something. So I didn't really know what I was going to do. Never seen the bar before in my life, crazy busy. So I started walking. How you doing, guy? Excuse me. How you doing? Excuse me. You know, my heart's beating. I'm like, I'm going to die now. Someone's going to throw me something at me, hit me in the head, and that'll be it, right? Nobody quite knew what to do. Anyway, finally, I got to the end of the bar. Big guy just rolled out of the bar. He'd finished making a drink. I said, how you doing? Excuse me a second. I grabbed a glass and just started throwing. I had, I'd started doing the biggest moves I could think of. And by this time, there was sort of a crowd that had gathered behind me. And it was like, whoa, whoa, danger, danger. I got some time. But now what do I do? All these people are really expecting me to be good at what I do. Right? I've no, no set up the bar. I've never seen it before in my life. So you've got to be able to master the things that you know they're going to be there. Garnishes, straws. A shaker tin, right? Glassware moves that are simple, right? Put them in front of your body, right? And then the full bottle because they're not always going to be a setup bottle. Sure, I like having, we talked about setup bottles somewhere around there because the less liquid you have in it, the better tricks you can do. But you got to first be able to do things with absolutely full bottles, right? I mean, no matter what you do, that's what you have to master, okay? Anyway, it turned out okay. Uh, at the end, I did this big show and uh, he ended up wanting me to, to train his staff and sort of worked out well after that. But uh, there's going to be put up or shut up time. So be able to deal with it by mastering the important things, the real stuff. Right? That you can go into any bar anywhere in the world you know, and say, is there a bartending position open? Well, you might have some, some harsh time, especially if you're trying to convince somebody of a new style of bartending. And a lot of people don't understand this very much. So you're going to have to prove it. You've got to be fast. You've got to be accurate. You've got to be personable. Right? Not slow down. Right? And you've got to be able to do it with, with what's put in front of you.